on Shetland Highway as we gather on Wednesdays to support the local music scene and local musicians. If you are one of them, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Joe at myi105.com. You can send me an email with your links, give me your stuff, and we'll see if we can't uh, get you worked into the show. Got a couple of dates that opened up unexpectedly in June. <laughs> no, well. Those darn musicians. I'm, I'm being ignored on that comment. But yeah, uh, a couple of open dates that you're uh, more than welcome to uh, get in touch with me. We'll see if we can't get you uh, into the show here uh, on a Wednesday night coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Tolly Wayne's. Yes? You got it. I got it. I think I've got it now. Awesome. Uh, that's who is hanging out with us here. Kind of based out of the Gatlinburg area and uh, opportunities to get out even tomorrow night. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo at Shamrock's yet. Yep, exactly, exactly. It's a uh, it's an Irish pub owned by an Indian guy with Russian waitresses and two white boys singing about Mexico. So I mean, where the crap you gonna find that except in Gatlinburg, Tennessee? You gotta love Gatlinburg. That is awesome. A lot of culture rolled into that. That right is, there. that is. I'll tell you. It's a, and you gotta go celebrate a Mexican holiday. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, you can find them online. The Tollyweens.com. Make sure you put that the in there. Okay, that's, important. that's the Very important, important part because otherwise you're going to wind up with schematics that you didn't want. So <laughs> make sure you check them out online. Uh, CDs available. Uh, good launching point, I would suppose, right there at the website. Yeah, as far as finding CDs and all that good stuff. Yep. Absolutely. You can find tour dates and you can find all the records and, uh, and anything we're doing. So come check us out. You can also find those right here at the Disc Exchange. And uh, I'm assuming you'll be able to hear all of these songs on uh, uh, I-105, right? Not only that, you're going to be able to, eventually, in. that's why we got that thing right there. We're going to put you guys on the web, too. Oh, we get a towel made of us? That'd be sweet. Oh, we get a towel. Well, we can do that, too. Yeah. Always wanted to be on a towel. <laughs> a tie-dye towel. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd look good. I want to be next to the Hendrix one now. <laughs> All right, let's do another song. This is going to go nowhere. This is going to, this, this is going to end <laughs> nowhere bad. good, anyway. Yeah, this is going to end bad. Well, this next song, this is basically the uh, this is the story of how I came to uh, live in East Tennessee. I, uh, of course, I grew up in uh, in Kentucky, moved to Tennessee, uh, East Tennessee, about ten years ago, and uh, I was always a big fan of the Eagles, and uh, I always loved Hotel California. I thought it'd be cool if somebody would write a song like that about uh, Tennessee, and. So, you know, I kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and I finally thought, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this. If you want to get something done right, you got to do it yourself. Tennessee. Exactly. I just hope Don Henley is that amused when he hears this song, because, uh, you know, if it was Glenn Fry, I wouldn't really be worried. He seems like the kind of guy you could sit back and have a beer with. But Don Henley, you know, he's always the he's rainforest. A, a block of a spotted owl. Yeah, that's it. You know, he just it really doesn't seem like he has a sense of humor. So, uh, maybe, maybe he's not listening.